Hello, I'm Anthony Shank reporting from RIS Media, the leader in real estate information systems on behalf of the top five in real estate network. Now it's easy pickings out there for many potential home buyers. Housing prices are at their lowest in more than a decade, inventories are high, analysts are predicting a new wave of foreclosures, and the government is offering two substantial tax credits for which many home buyers qualify. But bargain buyers beware, warns Vince Mastronardi, president of on-site specialty cleaning and restoration. According to Mastronardi, buyers need to educate themselves about the potential pitfalls of purchasing a distressed property. For example, it's not so much about what damage occurred, but rather the source of the damage and how long before the problem was addressed. These signs may indicate that trouble is around the corner. Unheated house in winter months. If the house has been properly winterized, there's no need for heat. But if the home has not been properly winterized, pipes will burst and cause water damage. Missing sinks, toilets, and other fixtures. Make sure they've been properly removed and not ripped from walls and floors. Peeling, bubbling, and discolored paint. Swelling in walls or ceilings, especially around kitchens and bathrooms, or a musty odor all indicate water damage and, potentially, the presence of moisture and mold. Fungus growth inside cabinets, behind drawers, and built-ins. Fungus could mean that there's been water damage. Since water falls down, look for the source above the mold. Blocked drains or pipes will cause future problems and may have already created sewage backups. Black cobwebs, greasy gray residue on walls, and or a strong oily odor. This could point to potential soot damage or a malfunctioning furnace. An older home with extensive renovations. Check with the city for pulled permits in order to get remodeling details. If asbestos is present and has been disturbed, be sure it's been remediated by a certified specialist. Excessive painting of every nook, cranny, door, and floor may mean that the seller is covering up mold. Discolored subflooring. From the basement, check the subflooring above for stains and small holes, both caused by mold. Air quality. The air quality within a home tells a lot about the home's condition. Be sure to include air and surface testing in your home inspection. It's a few hundred dollars well spent. For more real estate tips and topics, don't miss next week's installment of Top 5's This Week in Real Estate. Thanks for watching. I'm Anthony Shank reporting from RIS Media, the leader in real estate information systems.